Happy Pride, Manchester! I'm on my fourth gin and tonic for breakfast. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the march. Today's vlogging is not gonna go well if I keep this pace up. But anyway, happy Pride to Manchester, everyone! You're probably wondering why am I not wearing rainbow or the gay colours? When you combine all the six colours of the rainbow flag, you get black. So, I am wearing the true essence of the rainbow flag. We are now heading around the corner to go. Holy shit. It's all about queuing. Wait, so seven We have another half hour before the parade starts and then we're kind of towards the start I think I'm not too sure but after we check it we're gonna run in and we're going to grab our drink on because I'm absolutely parched <laughs> I've never really been the one who's worried always been the one who's keeping it cool the kind of guy you chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool Hell with the tick! Hell with the tick! Hell with the tick! Hell with the tick! Hell with the gin and tonic. I cannot hear anything. I'm freezing and my sinuses have blocked up. See you inside. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, good afternoon, g'day gorgeous people. I don't know what time it is. Actually I do. It's half 12 and I have yet to leave the apartment as you can see. Day three of Manchester Pride, the city has brought out the rain, the wind, the cold. I'd like to do a shout out to three incredible YouTubers in today's segment. Um, firstly, Max McFarlane from My Kind of Eats has been an incredible inspiration and mentor to me. Um, in fact, he woke up at I think like 4.30 or 5 a.m. his time to jump on a WhatsApp call with me to provide some advice and some notes and criticisms about my YouTube channel, about my editing. Seriously, Max, a huge thank you for donating your time, your experience and your knowledge. And the new format of the Traveling Ulcers channel is all thanks to you. Next shout out is to Black Panda 88 a true travel and foodie YouTuber. Very similar to me, but his appetite is incredible. I love the style, technique, speed, and quality of the videos Black Panda 88 makes. And thirdly, to RBG Films. Um, if you're feeling down, depressed, um, uninspired, visit his website, subscribe to all three of them, but subscribe to RBG Films because he has an energy and optimism and positivity that I think we all need in our lives. Hope that the rain dies down a bit because I am feeling peckish, I'm hungry, and funnily enough, I haven't eaten out in Manchester since we arrived on Friday afternoon. I've primarily been drinking my way through Manchester, but I haven't eaten anything yet. My Instagram followers suggested a number of really good eateries and restaurants to visit, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it out there. I can only hope that the rain dies down so we can head out there for lunch or dinner. 
I was really hoping to take you all on a kind of a walking tour around Manchester. Unfortunately, that is not going to happen now. It is bucketing, you know, it's raining cats and dogs out there. So I'm sorry, but there is no walkthrough of Manchester. What we have done though, and completely slipped our mind, but today is Sunday, so what do you have on Sunday? Sunday roast. So my favorite protein, as you all know, is lamb. So I'm having shoulder of lamb, Yorkshire pudding, mushrooms, pretty much all the trimmings. It's gonna be perfect on this cold, wet, windy day. And of course, it's past midday, so it's okay to have a double gin and tonic. But what we have here is half of an entire roast of garlic, Yorkshire pudding, stuffing, roast sh um, shoulder of lamb, looks like potatoes, kale, broccolini, and perfectly golden spuds, oh my god, and gravy, and of course a double gin and tonic. Let's try that spud. Oh my god, the potatoes look perfectly crispy. That gravy is on point. Mm. Oh my god, Yorkshire pudding. I love Yorkshire pudding, who doesn't? Okay, here we go. Oh. That's just perfect starch there. Oh, perfect carbs. You can't go wrong with a bit of stuffing ball. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But, we're here for the lamb. And you know I love my fatty, juicy, moist lamb. And this is seriously juicy, moist, and fatty. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so lamby and delicious. That is so good. Yum. Let's try some of that kale. I love my collard greens. <laughs> Perfectly al dente, crispy, but still wilted, and a tiny bit of bitterness. Really good. Let's try some of that garlic. Oh my god. No kissing for me tonight. But I'm eating all that garlic. Perfect, perfect pub meal for a cold, wet Sunday afternoon. So happy right now. I actually wanted to, to give you all a heads up that this video is going live well ahead of all my other UK videos. Now, this is kind of breaking out of that linear progression. This video, um, I want to, to upload um, onto YouTube as soon as possible and as close to the Manchester Pride timeline as possible. So this is actually probably the most close to in real time video. Um, for my time here in the UK, especially here in England. Um, so I just wanted to, to kind of flash that out that this video is completely out of timeline. Um, and I'm hoping that once we get to, um, I get to Glasgow, I'll have one or two days by myself where I'll just sit down and start editing the UK videos. I don't have many because I ha I'm afraid I haven't actually been vlogging much. I've actually been eating and traveling and actually having a bit of a holiday, which is quite odd. Anyway, I can see water splashing onto the lens. So I will bid adieu. I will see you all in the next vlog. Bye.